what's up youtube welcome to episode two of into the minor v see that guy in the ceiling that one right there stuck yeah i'm gonna be showing you how that dude got outplayed really bad let's go first things first i press f1 to see where all the crafters are at that always gives me a good understanding of how yeah, others kill, may go. rotate and where people may choose to land and here we're gonna choose to land at climatizing you don't have deja vu so i need you to get locked in my brother start meditating a little bit more you know maybe a late drop as i hit the floor i start a mental clock within and uh, normally i try to loot an area like this within two GMO minutes two minutes and 15 food. seconds so as soon as i touch down i'm already thinking about how fast and how much time do i have to loot this area get more locked in okay why do i yeah, i'm gonna drop the star either way as I climb up here, I spot a blue uh, evil shield on the gondola. Knowing that the gondola goes back and forth across, I made sure to prioritize that and go straight for it. Here I see that my teammate has looted this side, so instead of going straight up and continuing onto this side, I go back to my original side and continue to loot my area. Gotta add some greens to your diet, my friend. Unrelated to Apex tip, greens, but add some Recently, greens to your diet. Recently, I really diet, started liking cucumbers. Like when I was younger, bro, I used to hate cucumbers, but I don't know what it is. Now I really like them. Here you're going to see me experience easy. what I call a bit of a brain fog or a brain fart, where I want to pick up the alt XL, oh, but I didn't take the energy ammo out of my Brother. inventory. So I was kind of conflicted, kind of lost, whoa, whoa, whoa. but then I realized what happened. Hey, Picked hey, it no up. Man, I have a hey, habit hey, of no popping no alt no excels no early depending on the character I'm playing, come. just so I have my alt ready to go. My teammate states that there's a team on him, sure no and I'm a little confused when individuals do this, because normally they don't tell you how far uh, or how close, Stop, which is why I asked for my teammate to ping them. But I still prioritize getting to my teammate as fast as possible, because it's always better to be close than to be far. Dude. When he said on him, they are miles One's away. Inside One's inside of you. Oh, Here I'm trusting my teammate, even though I heard nothing or saw anyone inside, but I'm going to trust my teammate and go with the Inside's call. Upon entering, saw no one, but I still continued to decide where they should be. Right above you guys. My teammate gets down instantly, which means oh, now this God. opposite team is going to be more aggressive. It's a three versus two playing into how aggressive i know they will be i fake the res here and then i go into using horizon's alt back just back for back a large distraction and to allow myself to have an advantage here. here you can see that i whiffed my shots but i got important information that pathfinder had white shield with this information i pursue pathfinder to get the easy down upon seeing bloodhound i disengage from the fight as fast as possible going around the corner and using Horizon's lift to cut off access to the Bloodhound. The Bloodhound was stuck in the ceiling, cutting off access to the fight. We then turned it into a 2v1, and the rest is history. I'm batting. One's in the roof. I push one up top. He can't move. Bloodhound got hit with the hokey dope around the poke. Killed one. We won it, man. Let's, Let's go, dude. Oh. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this one again, this is episode two. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in episode three, man. Love you, dudes. Yep, yep.